This is what we got from foraging today. We're gonna make a jelly. And I got some leaves to make a teeth menstrual cramp. So it's Sunday today. We still gotta get our solar panels somewhat set up, uh, which we're gonna do today. We're gonna go do laundry as per usual. But I woke up this morning and Joe told us we have a new issue. So last week, Stephanie saw a bear, big bear, up where we're gonna move to. This weekend, um, Joe was up there on the phone. He kind of walks around when he's on the phone. And he walks up to our little camp area and he sees a deer, still quite young, orange with the white dots. And he notices it's running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he's like, what? And uh, so he's on the phone and then it stops and comes up to him. Really close, like uncomfortably close. And he's like, oh, wait a minute. He notices that it's grinning and grinding its teeth and spitting and slivering. Now, if you live in the woods or you hunt, you already know what's wrong. The next thing poor Joe knows, bear in mind, he's just moved up here from Florida. Like, he's, I've been in Tennessee for 11 years, he's just moved up here from Florida. He's like, what the hell? Deer starts chasing his ass. He runs, the deer's running, he grabs an axe, it stops, runs back, runs around like a lunatic again. So he has to call up wildlife. Now, I'm, just, I'm asleep while this is going on. Everyone, most people are asleep, they wake up super early. Um, and they confirmed what some of us might already know is it is, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a brain disease, fungus disease, that basically, I call it zombie disease. Um, not quite rabies, basically, it messes with their brain, it kills them eventually. But it's, it drives them mad, it's, it's like a fungus disease in the brain, it drives them mad, makes them front of the mouth, makes them violent, aggressive, and acts bizarre, they can't eat, they get skinny, and eventually they look kind of like a walking, walking corpse. And then they got a little the wildlife and they were like, oh yeah, there is, it's going around this year. Be careful, is what I'm getting at. Be very, 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 very careful. Making me some, uh, some jam from the berries that I collected. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, that is a super cell in here. That's a juicy storm. That's a juicy storm. again. I'm gonna make some more jam.
is just what I'm doing right now. I'm running out of my lotion, my face cream. This is a natto that's in here right now, but I'm going to make my own because I don't want to spend $30 on a face lotion. So, show my sink. I got a bunch of different organic materials. I have mango butter. I have an oil that I've made, an essential oil, Jehovah oil. This is just got beeswax and beeswax and silk amino acids in it. I'm going to melt that down. Natural shea, coconut oil, <sighs> hemp seed oil, a bunch of dry herbs and barks and rosemary and stuff in my garden. So what I'm doing now is I'm grinding and adding a bit of oil into my grinding. I'm trying to make a paste. That's what I want. Piece of wood or something in my in my shoe, my sock. So eventually, I found it, and I'm like, "What the? It's friggin' George Spine. I have a hedgehog. Her name is George. It's a hedgehog spine. And they're really sharp." Came back from doing that laundry. There'd be a storm a coming. Don't know if you can hear the thunder. That looks weird. I think all stone cars. Ooh! That was cool. <laughs> How muddy the Jeep is. It looks a bit odd, doesn't it? I am terrified. To explain to you what happened, I saw a funnel cloud to the, to, the, to the right of us and, and it went over us and it grabbed the car and it grabbed the tops of the trees and it went over the side of us and it was pushing me. So I keep my hands still. See it? 
A blog this, so I got a warning on my phone um, talking about the air quality is uh, yellow or orange, orange I think it said, due to the fires in Canada. And look how foggy it is. But it's the mountains are over there, you can't see the mountains, they're gone. It's just fog. I'm at work and I want to show you something cool. So I'm going to show you how to make something like antique. Um, for example, kind of an antique look. That's the colour and that's the afterwards. Then I've got a match to an old heirloom um, cabinet. Started off with cortisone, which is cortisone white oak. And I've got some yellow dye that I've added some uh, lacquer thinner to. Use acetone, I use black thinner. What I'm gonna do first whoops, is I'm gonna dye the wood. Just like that. I'm gonna let that dry. A lot of the time I make my own custom colors. Um, the one that is I just showed you is a custom cooler. I'm going to keep it real simple with a straight out of can autumn oak from ML Campbell. So this is a color. I'm using this color because if you see on the drips there it's got an orange really warm undertone. And that's what it looks like. Make sure you always really really mix your colors well because if it sinks to the bottom it gets chunky. So I will show you as long as nobody <laughs> sees me doing this because I feel weird if people are watching. And whoops. Right over the top. It's not as red as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna leave it on heavier. Get a piece of wood in the in the middle of it, and then hammer the piece of wood, and it'll split it. Okay, let's find a chunk of wood. Perfect one wood, chopped up like this. Perfect. Okay. okay. Maybe we gotta make it sharper. Hello everybody, it is the final day before we hopefully move our camper, it has been a hell of a fucking Friday. Let me tell you, 
personal stuff though, don't want to get into it. Um, we're going to move some trees out of the way, get two stumps out of the way, get an area set up for our solar panels, get some mulch down the ground. Yeah. So, here we go. So this is what it looks like right now. This is our entrance. Covered in sweat. Solar panels are going to go right here. So we're going to clean out all this area for the solar panels. And we're going to put some mulch on here. It's kind of, we don't want to like break the bank, so we're just going to do chunks at a time. So. I'm organizing all our building material in the trees. like literally right here huh? right here for the solar panels it's like almost like somewhat clear no it's right here oh, berries blackberries there's a lot of blackberries right there try to avoid the beautiful berries other than that gotta clean all this out too <sighs> I'm to watch the berries. I am like a gem master at this point. Here, we got the stumps as well as we can get them. I'm cleaning out this wood pile. It's like a little like workshop area, so to speak. Got the long lumber here, we've got sticks underneath to keep it on the off the dirt so it oxidizes and dries out without rotting. Some of them are debarked, some aren't, and there's a later on project. We've got our fire starters and firewood which will get bigger when we start putting down more wood. I gotta finish going through all these and there. I gotta clean out all this area, re-rake it. Uh, we might put something down, I don't know. The camper will be from the back, so the butt of it will be where that piece of tree is back there. And it will come to where this, this is right here. And it will be like from this stump back to kind of just in front of this tree. And it will go like back. So it's kind of pushed in, we're not too far in, and we've got space to get around here. The space to get through. Um, our door will be about there, where that bit of sunlight is. Um, yeah, we got a uh, 60 foot of solar panel wiring. So our solar panel stuff's gonna be like at the front here. We've got a, on this side, over on this side, go under the camper. We'll probably put it under the ground here. It'll go out that way and up to where uh, Junior is, Charles, Charles Junior. Um, it gets all day sunlight. So we have decided to go with getting a professional electrician to come out and do it because we felt like we bit off more than what we could chew. Uh, so we're trying to find out when he can come up because we can't move up here until we have a date of when he can come up here. So fingers crossed. So yeah. So far, I have moved 12 trees. Yeah. Let me show you what we've done. That is where our solar panels are gonna go and the wires are gonna go through that little gap through there and attach to our camper. This is our driveway, we haven't fully cleared it yet. We got one little patch of mulch. This is what we had left over. So the sticks up here the trees or our driveway. Eventually all this will be mulched. So we can go in here. 
where we're gonna get some uh, framing, wooden framing to go up and into like a little triangle and then back down. And we're gonna train the trees to go around it, grow some flowers around it, have two lanterns coming down, some lights. So it's gonna look beautiful. As we come further in, we found some mushrooms. What are they called? Blushers? Blusher mushrooms, which are pretty cool. You can't eat them, they cause anemia. Then when you touch them or bruise them, they go pink. Grow by oak trees. Okay, show a one drink. I got our tree pile. I moved all the trees from there. I got a little pile left there, but I am exhausted. It's been, feels like a hundred and something today. It's been in the 90, like 95, 100% humidity. Just really difficult to breathe because of the smoke from Canada coming down here. So yeah, call it a day. Our neighbor is four wheeling. We have a neighbor, an acre and a half through that. Well, you can't see him, it's so far away, but we have a little camera right here that points in this direction. Firewood, sticks, the wood we're gonna to use to build with. Um, that stick at the back, like I've said, that's where the camp is gonna go and it's gonna kinda of come across this way and stop about here. So from here to there. Cleared cleared all this out. I haven't gone back there yet. So right here we're gonna build uh from like a cob clay version of a cook like a oven. We're gonna get like a cast iron door and it's gonna put butcher block in, have a countertop and a little round cook stove area there and a seating area here where the cook stove is and the little gazebo. Uh, this is gonna be like a little wood shop working area because we're carpenters, that's what we do. Um, probably have like a little fire pit like right here. Cause our camp is gonna stop where this tree stump is like right here. So we'll probably have a little fire pit right there. Have a few chairs around there too. It's gonna be nice. We're gonna have like loads of little lights and lanterns through all the trees. Ah, I'm looking forward to getting this done. If you can't tell from my face, I'm sweaty. I'm exhausted. I'm dehydrated, which isn't good. I am uh, ready to go take an ice shower, eat some vegetables and some salmon. Call that a day. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. Again, I am open to any comments or um, advice that anyone may have for us on our little journey. Of course, we're complete noobs to this off-grid uh, lifestyle, so you might be seeing some things and been going, oh god, please no. We're gonna make mistakes, that's how you learn. Um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you like our content. And again, in August, going to Florida. So, thanks. See you in the next video.